Hello there, patrons of the tavern. We've got a special kind of video prepared for you this time around. Do you remember a time where Hearthstone felt unbalanced? Was it your opponent killing you in one turn with a Warsong commander and multiple grim patrons? Maybe there was a time where only one to two classes that you just despised playing were the only good ones, and your all-time favorite class, Priest, was just absolutely awful. Maybe you never drew Raza the Chained while every other opponent on ladder had it on turn five. Today we're going to be taking a look at why it's it's so difficult to balance Hearthstone, or even card games in general for that matter. Before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe to the Tempo Storm Hearthstone YouTube channel for all of your Hearthstone needs, and be sure to turn notifications on while you're at it. Let's get to fixing the problems. Mentioned earlier were a couple of different examples of how Hearthstone can seem unbalanced. It can range from specific classes dominating the meta, to certain neutral cards seeing way too much play across a wide variety of classes. There have been a couple of meta games where there was really only one strong deck or class, and also metagames where drawing a card early really changed the landscape of the matchup or win rate. Highlander Priest with Raza the Chained and Shadow Reaper Anduin is a prime example of both these concepts. This deck was widely played all across ladder, having a very strong win rate and leading to a priest-dominated meta. Very few, if any, of the remaining eight classes could keep up with this powerhouse of a deck. Even decks trying to design themselves to beat it, such as Jade Druid, could only find themselves with a slightly favorable matchup against it. Raza the Chained and Shadow Reaper Anduin were so integral to the deck that you would almost always keep both no matter the matchup. This led to a lot of one-sided games in which one player drew the pieces to their combo and the other was left out to dry. The reason that this becomes a big problem is it detracts from the overall fun everyone's having while playing the game. Nobody wants to queue up a game and have to play only against one class, because if they did that, then they would play the specialist format. When playing these games out as well, nobody wants to lose a game because their opponent happened to have Prince, dare I say it, Keliseth on turn two. These games were never fun to play out. One player had either some unfair advantage because they had a card you didn't, or there just wasn't enough variety, which is something Hearthstone typically excels at. Now you may be asking yourself, if Hearthstone has a development and balance team, why do overly powerful cards and decks slip through? I mean, shouldn't they be able to stop this from happening? It is their job after all. Now we aren't speaking for the development team when we say what we're about to say, but there are tons of possibilities and reasons. First, there are very limited human resources when it comes to developers. There is only a small amount of people actively working on the Hearthstone balance team. We don't know the exact number working on the game's balance portion, but it's a tiny number compared to its player base. A player base of over 100 million registered players as of November 2018. Now compare the two sizes, the more likely they are to find something very strong. Secondly, sometimes it's fun to experiment. There is absolutely nothing wrong with a card being strong. Strong and powerful cards are what make card games fun to play and watch. Although we all may have hated when our opponent's Yog saran was the reason we lost the game, we have to admit it was definitely fun or funny to watch someone get crushed by your own or someone else's Yog. It's difficult to tell if something is going to be overly strong or not strong enough. One of the few ways to tell is to put it out into the public atmosphere and let everyone evaluate it for themselves. Lastly, there are nine unique classes that all require ample attention. It is difficult to keep all classes at the same or close power level. Attention to detail has to be put into all of the nine classes. Some classes are also just inherently weak to other classes. If one of those classes is even slightly stronger, it may seem like a wider gap between the two. The solutions may not seem as simple as you would like them to be. Sure, tweaking a card's numbers or text around can result in a solution, but it could also create a larger problem than before. Nerfing one power class can often result in another one taking over. The entire ecosystem needs to be evaluated before deciding on an ample change. It's also also okay to have classes perform poorly as long as they don't always perform poorly. Your favorite class will get its time to shine, you just need to be a little patient. Currently, we live in a great time for Hearthstone balance updates. In the early stages of Hearthstone, cards wouldn't get balanced for months or even years. Now, with the most recent set, Descent of Dragons, we have already had two balance updates. This is an absolutely tremendous step in the right direction for Hearthstone balance. I mean, who remembers when Undertaker Hunter was the best deck for what truly felt like forever? In conclusion, Hearthstone is a very difficult game to balance properly, which may just be a good thing. We all want to experience crazy cards that turn games around, or decks that just feel so powerful you don't think you could ever lose with it. As long as the decks and cards don't stick around for too long, it will definitely be a fun time for all. We hope you enjoyed this video talking about what makes Hearthstone feel unbalanced from time to time. These types of videos are different from what we usually make, so let us know in the comments below what you thought. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and to subscribe to our channel. We post 
several videos a week, so be sure to turn notifications on to avoid missing any. We'll see you next time.